Well, I think the main issues are very clear to the public. It's around trying to find uh, solutions to the vexed issues of uh, flags, parades, and how we deal or learn from the past. And uh, that, the harsh discussions, as many people know, have commenced. And in between the discussions, it's obvious that the people here working with them are engaging with uh, all sections of society, which I think is a very good thing. I would like to see any scenario at the end of this where anybody had the ability to say that their views were not taken on board. So, as I've said before, my attitude is that these are problems that have to be resolved. Uh, you know, I, I've said the union as leaders, but I believe that if there was a will to resolve them, we could have resolved them ourselves. But I think, you know, given that uh, some of the other parties weren't prepared to uh, weigh in on a joint approach to the resolution of these problems, there was no choice but to bring in an independent chair. And uh, Richard Haas uh, received the support of all of the parties. So if Richard Haas can deliver, as a result of the engagements that he and his team are involved in, solutions to these problems, then I think that uh, that makes it much easier for those parties who previously were not prepared to cooperate with, for example, ourselves and the DUP at an earlier stage of all of this. It makes it easier for them to uh, accept outcomes which resolve these issues, then uh, it'll be well worth it. Well, what we do in terms of uh, the violence that we see periodically appearing is that we keep our nerve. But the way we deal with it is that we all have to be seen to stand in together against the violence of those groups who are predominantly involved in it. And who are they? Well, it's quite clear from the events of the last year that the UVF in particular, uh, in conjunction with elements within Orangism and, and indeed the PUP, have been trying to foment conflict on the streets and uh, that has to be challenged by all of us. Similarly, there are small unrepresentative groups, uh, so-called Republican dissidents, who believe that uh, it's a good idea every now and again to kill somebody and of course they were involved in the killing, the murder of Kevin Kearney the other night in North Belfast. But, you know, I've made it clear to everybody, including our partners in government and others, that what has worked for us in the past was a very clear united message that this is unacceptable and that it must end. Of course, people also have to support the police services, north and south, the Garda and the PSNA, as they impartially go about uh, ensuring that the activities of these groups are thwarted whenever they raise their heads. Well, I've said over the course of the last couple of days, this was the third uh, economic investment conference that I have been involved in. The first one was in 2008 uh, at Hillsborough Castle. Uh, the one after that was in the State Department in Washington, sponsored by President Obama and Secretary of State Clinton. And jobs flowed from those uh, economic investment conferences, thousands of jobs flowed. Uh, the evidence of that is the word brand names like the New York Stock Exchange, Euronext Company, Chicago Mercantile, reinvestments from Citigroup, Allstate and indeed a plethora of others. But I have to say that uh, in my view this third economic investment conference uh, was the best of the three which fills me full of hope for the future in terms of uh, positive uh, job announcements uh, in the north and I believe that there will be more uh, very good announcements in the time ahead and all of that is critically important because we have placed developing our economy front and centre of our programme for government and th there's two main strands to how we do that. One is to support our local entrepreneurs, local businesses, people who are uh, and have been for a very long time providing much needed employment for our, our people and particularly for our young people but also foreign direct inv investment is critically important because you can clearly see that uh, in terms of how companies from an international perspective increasingly see us as being able to deliver uh, on things like financial services for example the fact that we provide a near shore location to Europe 
And an interesting statistic that flowed from the uh, Economic Investment Conference was that of all of the financial treatments done in the world, about 10% of it goes through Belfast uh, every single day. Every single day financial tra transactions go through Belfast amount to something in the region of £500 million, pounds, which is absolutely incredible. And I think increasingly uh, people who are involved in financial services do recognise that we have got people of a high enough calibre to uh, uh, furnish their businesses with the sort of skills that they require to deal in the financial market. So, very confident about the future, very confident that there will be future important job announcements. And not just for Belfast, but for areas outside of Belfast also. Well, we're very confident that, you know, I, I think that the public have looked at what has been happening north and south. And they have made judgments that Sinn Féin has been given real leadership. You know, there are huge challenges north and south, not just in terms of the political situation in the north, but in the context of the austerity that has been imposed on the people of Ireland by the uh, mismanagement of the economy uh, by previous governments. And of course in the north we're linked uh, specifically to uh, a right-wing conservative government at uh, Downing Street. Uh, they're in the lead. The Liberal Democrats are obviously in some difficulty and appear to be unable to put a break on uh, the austerity measures that are being imposed on all of us and that impacts on us too in the north in the context of welfare cuts and, and so forth. So I think we're going into the elections in, in good shape as being seen as a party that is very responsible uh, and trying to give you know, courageous leadership at a time of great difficulty. So I think that you know, we look forward to the elections with considerable anticipation and expectation uh, that we're going to do really well both north and south of the border.